Jeff Fennick into retirement, Calvin Grove. Matthew Brooks spoke to both men during the week. It hasn't all been sand, surf and sun for Lester Ellis. Far from it, in fact. But through all the hardships, it's perhaps ironic that the brutal, unforgiving world of boxing has acted as a bridge over troubled waters. One thing you can't teach in life is experience. And experience, you can't put a old head, old head on young shoulders. You've got to go through it, you've got to make your mistakes. But like I said, I've done it for the, for the crowd and glory. I'm past those days now. I do it for my two little boys, good schools and my beautiful wife. Just on a year ago, Lester definitely wasn't a pretty sight. Tipping the scales at 85 kilos, sumo wrestling would have been a more apt career path. Thank God I, I realised that when I did, I wasn't an alcoholic, but you start drinking just Friday and Saturday, then it becomes Thursday, Friday and Saturday, then it becomes one or two luncheons. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm not really over that, man. I, I like a beer like anybody, but uh, I don't thrive for it. I don't care if I don't have it. I'm just a social drinker now, and I'm well, well and truly in control. There was a time when it seemed all too easy to the kid known as the Master Blaster. In 1985, at age 19, he was crowned king of the boxing world. With the IBF Super Featherweight title, Ellis felt invincible. He discovered very quickly and savagely how fragile life is. Within six months, the title had gone. His boyhood idol, veteran Barry Michael, teaching him a painful lesson in the art of pugilism. They say art imitates life, and from that moment on, as his boxing career spiralled towards oblivion, so too did his life. Financial ruin soon followed, and it wasn't long before Lester turned to alcohol for comfort. But through all the triumph and trauma, Keith has stuck by his baby brother. He's done things to me that uh, only a brother could cop. You know, I mean, like if another fighter did it to what he did, you just throw him out the door. You've got to sort of stick by him. It's family, you know. Yeah, nobody loves him more than me, but it has been very trying uh, times. Both were convinced Lester's fortunes had changed when he won the fledgling WBF welterweight crown earlier this year. But nothing comes easy in boxing, and world titles are earned in blood, not given away. So now, the bludgeoning road back begins. Some say he's courting death to step into the ring again, but Lester's quick to counter the sceptics. There's not much confidence around. Everyone's... Everyone, everyone's genuine opinion is that uh, once he tags me in two or three rounds, I'll be knocked out. But uh, that's what keeps the fight game going, people's opinion. And anybody that buys a ticket is entitled to their opinion. And that's how it goes. But uh, I'll get the bacon on the night. No, we haven't stepped back in time to 1985. Barry Michael has become an important part of the Ellis revival. The guy's going to be right hand crazy because, you know, I mean, he's, he knocked Fennec, Fennec out so well with the right hand, he's going to be sweating on that with you. The trigger-happy boxer he refers to needs no introduction. Oh, big right hand with the back. That dramatic win over Fennec should have resulted in a second showdown with the great Azuma Nelson. But thanks to boxing politics, and in particular Don King, that fight is yet to be signed. So rather than just sit on his laurels, the former IBF featherweight champion has returned to the place of his greatest ring victory for an encore performance. Adamant, he'll end the Ellis comeback. We're just going to fight, and the best man is going to win. I'm, I'm the better man. I have the better tools. And uh, when the fight night comes, uh, we'll see. You know, you know me. I, I don't talk much, but uh, I let my hands and my talent do the talking. Matthew Brooks reporting for Sports World. Good luck to Lester Ellis Grove. Obviously the hot favourite there, but remember Rocky. Here's Kate with the latest scores.